Hello guys, welcome back to the Peachy Bros, and today I've got another WDBA battle. Now, this is the week 6 battle against Andrew. Now, just quickly, uh, as of this moment, this morning I played our uh, week 9 battle. Now, there's 9 weeks in the season, so the season's actually over, like the official regular season. And I can't really tell you guys what happens yet, but I would just like to know that like I'll be recording pretty much everything tonight or within like tonight and tomorrow. And just so I can get you guys quickly up to date before I, yeah, before what happens next. I kind of spoiled it anyway. I mean, it's 5-0. We're going to make playoffs. So there's no point hiding. We're 5-0 right now. So we're going to make playoffs. Uh, spoiler alert. And yeah, I just want to make sure you guys are up to date before we get to the playoff matches. So anyway, back to week 6. We're versing Andrew. And right now from Team Previews, there was two things going in my head. One, I was like... Okay, my extra dual prep kind of let me down. Now, he has he had a Crobat in his draft, and I really thought he was going to bring Crobat, um, especially maybe to counter Heracross and Volcarona, and because it had U-turn, it could do some damage against my Mega Gyarados. But he didn't bring it, which kind of sucks because my Scarfed Rock Slide was meant to put in some work, but now Rock Slide kind of does crap all except against the Scolipede, but EQ does the same. So my rock, sl the rock slide was really a bit of a misplay. Now, what, why I'm saying rock slide was a misplay is because I don't have the aerial ace. It was either rock slide or aerial ace, and I decided to go for the rock slide. Now, aerial ace would have been great for this chest snob, and as you see, it's going to be a biatch this game. But it's all right. Um, straight away, I thought he may lead with the uh, what, what's his face, uh, the scolipede. So I was like, maybe I should go for the extra duel because it handles it probably the best. Um, but he sends out Magneton. Now, because I don't have the Aerial Ace, I can't predict the chest knot. Um, so I just have to go for the EQ and then I'll be able to switch out. So basically, after that, I just switched straight out to my Slowbro. Because I knew I could take, I think I have the Window Berry. So I knew I could take anything from this chest knot. And I really wanted to Toxic this thing. So I tried to Toxic on the chest knot. But he decides to switch out to my Melodic. And we miss! Oh my god, Slowbro. So, like, Toxic, missing a Toxic on a Melodic is probably one of the most frustrating things. But it's alright, so there goes, there's that, and we switch out to our Run and Frost as we dodge and weave a Toxic as well, which is not a <coughs> good trade for hacks. I got greedy here, I tried to Toxic the Moloch again, but he switches out, good play. He uses Hidden Power Fire or Rock, I think it's Hidden Power Rock. So that was a very interesting uh, play that he made. We switch out to Volcarona because I thought, no, no, it's Hidden Power, he had Hidden Power Fire. Oh, that's right, because. I have the berry to stop rock, so I knew that was had to be Hidden Power Fire. So that let, that's why I knew, because he probably had Hidden Power Fire to take out my extra jewel. So I went to Volcarona, because I knew I could take anything and step free equivalents. Now, pretty much, I step equivalents. This is my logic, like, it, it, I thought he was going to use Miracle. So I went for another equivalents as he uh, as he goes for the Toxic. Now, we actually dodged that Toxic, and I'm pretty I'm pretty happy. So I was like, I, I'm going to go for another equivalents. And he goes for a Miracle. Now, let me do, let me just tell you guys this. If we there was two things that could happen. One, if he was fully physically defensive, if I could set up one more equivalent, I could just oko him straight with the bug buzz. And the other scenario was that if I if he went for toxic here and I went for a bug buzz here, I would and he was special defensive. I could two hit KO this thing and I would be able to kill everything else by the time Toxic wears me down. So I would straight be able to 6-0 this man if I went for a Bug Buzz right here. But instead, I was like, you know what? He always run, he mainly runs defensive, so I'll go for Equivalent. So he Toxics me. But I, I'm going to spoil it right now. I do misplay because I Bug Buzz him. He lives on 7% and he does Miracle me. Damn, so we lose our Vulcan Runner. Now that sucks because... Volcarona was such a good way to really destroy this guy's team, and that was it. Kind of sucks that he died that early, but it's all right. Um, I vote switch on this Melodic because I knew that I could I could get a free vault switch, um, and I go straight into Melodius. Now, why I went in, like why I went to Melodius was sneaky because I, I was gonna force this guy to a vault switch. Um, basically, that if I force this guy to vault switch, I can go down to Excadrill, and because this thing is scarfed, I get a free hit on something. Um, once again, it kind of sucks. I didn't have aerial ace. Boom, I would have predicted. I knew this was coming in. This is why I went for the iron head. If I had aerial ace, that would have been so much better. But we have to, unfortunately, go for the iron head just for the damage. Um, right here, we got, we got a cop predicted. 
Uh, he goes for the spikes, and that's gonna suck for late game, as you will see. But it's alright, because I... Uh, it's actually not alright, because I went for the psychic here. I got greedy. He switches in Cresselia. So I'm getting predicted. I got predicted twice in a row. But here's where the tables turn. I knew he was gonna, not going to leave in Cresselia, because I was actually running Toxic on my uh, Latios. And fearing a Toxic, he went into... He doubled straight back into his Chestnut. Unfortunately... A psychic with a psychic this guy because I thought he was going to switch in either chestnut or scolopede, and so we're able to pick off the chestnut. So that's great news for us. Now, when I switch in Rotom and Frost here, I was trying to bluff the scarf, so I think I went for Volt Switch. Um, let me wait, let me just check. I kind of forgot this turn. Oh, wait, no, no, yeah, I went for the Volt Switch after. Sorry, I'm kind of ahead of myself. So I went for the Blizzard because I knew it would kill anything on his team. Uh, but yeah, so let me just catch up. Alright, so pretty much here, I reveal we're not Scarf. I went for the Volt Switch. Uh, I thought I could break a sub and just pretty much just switch out. Now, on this turn, he kills my Run Frost. There's no, I have no switch ins, but basically, I went into my Slow Brew now. Now, why I went into Brother is because Brother here has done the wave, and I thought if I could paralyze this thing, then I could always kill it later with Heracross. But he decides to let his Latias be paralyzed instead. Now, that kind of confused me a little bit, I'm not going to lie, but it's alright. Because I know Extra Jewel can really take anything from this Latias. But what was bullcrap is about this turn? Alright, so he Dracomedias me, and he gets a critical hit, which is really annoying. Because, uh, as you see in this next turn, this critical hit is going to let him take me out with a Sucker Punch. Now, I'm just like, what? So this guy's like a Sucker Punch Latias, which really confused me. Um, Next turn, I send out Jalal. Jalal was pretty much able to get up my Tailwind. Now, I pretty much set Tailwinds for a Heracross sweep, um, but these switches in Cresselia, which kind of confused me. Next turn, I Toxic this thing, because you always want to Toxic a Cresselia. Um, but he decides to go for a Lunar Dance, sack his Cresselia, and go straight into Milotic. Next turn, I'm just able to Toxic his Milotic. He Toxic my Latios, which kind of confuses me, because pretty much a Toxic on a Milotic is always more worse than a Toxic on a Latios. So I'm not sure why he really wanted my Latios gone. Um, but I definitely needed his Milotic gone if my Heracross wanted to sweep. So that's why I Toxic there. I don't know what sure if that was a better play for me or him. But anyway, I switched Jalal out to Slowbro because I know that this thing can't really do much except go for another Toxic. But he decides to switch out to Latios again. And I'm just like, okay, I'm kind of confused. I'm not even going to lie. Um, he decides to switch out again. As I go for a th uh, no, I go for a skull just for some damage. Now I really wanted to catch his Scolipede off guard, so I think I went for a Thunder Wave here. Um, as he goes into the Latias. Oh no, I double, dude! I kind of forgot this match. I think I oh, that's what I did. Yeah, I went to L Jalal because I knew that the Latias was coming out again. Because uh, his Latias currently walls my he walls the shit out of my Slowbro, so pretty much I switch out Jalal, and I, I think I'm able to get my Tailwind again. Now on this turn, I wanted him. I, I wanted him to kill me because I set up a Tailwind now, and if he killed me on this turn, I'm pretty sure my Heracross just won the game. Like straight up, it could, or had a chance of straight up winning the game. Um, so as you see, I set up Tailwind. Um, he actually misses the Draco, which kind of sucks because that kind of ruins my plans with the Tailwind sweep. Um, so I have to switch out because I need my Tailwind sweep to happen. So I pretty much switch out. He goes for a Draco. He sends me to 27%. And I just kind of just was like, Slow bro, you kind of done your job. Uh, so I just went for the t Thunder Wave, maybe hoping to catch a Scolipede. I kind of wanted to sack Slow bro, then I'm not going to lie. Um, but basically, I just I had to switch out straight back into Jalal. I knew that every time I brought out Slow bro, he's going to bring out Ladia. So I was able to d do this again. So basically, this was just a rerun of last term. Uh, last, uh, last, uh, the last time. Um, except, actually, I'm just going to let you guys know that the Slow bro, How much Slow damage does Slow bro take? Anyway, uh, yeah, we're able to get up a Tailwind. This time he connects his Draco Media. And we get up our Heracross. So I don't know about you guys, but I think this Heracross just lost us the game though, like, so pretty much that miss just absolutely destroyed our chances of winning. Now basically, if I hit that Bug Buzz, uh, bu uh Mega Horn, I would have killed the Latias, gotten the Moxie boost, and then pretty much been able to destroy, uh, the Milotic or the Scolipede. Um, and I definitely would have been able to 
and as you can see this turn he gets a healing wish so i miss my mega horn he gets a healing wish goes into the melodic gets rid of he heals up and gets rid of the poison now that's gonna suck because we're gonna not get our moxie boost from the heracross and he's able to pretty much stall us out while we kill ourselves with life form so heracross what were you doing like heracross had one job he literally came in and just missed like nah like heracross bro what are you doing so um he's able to he pretty much stalls us out now now we have extra excess damage with slow bro so we pretty much we have like no hp um as i fast forward we pretty much there's no way we can win right now heracross had to kill the that um even if he dented the melodic to like this much health uh with the bullet seed slow bro would have been able to kill this thing take on the scolopede with the bugberry psychic and possibly kill the scolopede um but anyway heracross it, it wasn't it didn't really matter too much that slow bro had the bugberry and could have gone against the scolopede but like the heracross miss definitely did matter and I'm still kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still kind of salty about that miss. Like, when every time I, every time I see that miss, I'm just like, dude, if only that hit. Like, if that hit, we would have been old Gucci, dude. But we, unfortunately, that's just gonna be how it goes. So we do kill the Milotic, um, but it's kind of too late because uh, the damage already pretty much racked up, and Scolopede was able to one shot us. Now, basically, from the health war at. If we had just a bit more health on, it was I was actually a damage roll. If we had a bit more health on Heracross, we wouldn't have died by the poison jab. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see, like the stupid miss definitely cost us a lot of HP, and that pretty much straight lot one lost us the game. But um, he definitely Andrew could have definitely played around that and still won anyway. But it definitely would have been really harder than just like what he had to do. And it kind of sucks for me to lose like that. But you know what? It's alright. Andrew played well. Um, our prep was okay, but if we had error lace on our extra duel, this would have been a really different game. Um, I would have been able to easily predict the chestnut and come away with like a cleaner, cleaner battle. But that's going to be how it goes. I think the commentation, uh, I'm sorry for the commentation of this. Uh, this battle was done ages ago and I've totally kind of forgot what happened. So I was just kind of remembering it as I go. That's how it, like, that's that's the straight up biggest definition of yoloing a video right there. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna pretty much be our first loss on, for like a league on YouTube, which kind of sucks. But I mean, you can't really win them all. Like I'll try though. I'll try, I'll try my hardest to win them all. But, like, it, yeah, stuff happens. A stupid Heracross, can't see for shit. Didn't even, fuck, he didn't even, he needs glass. I don't know what kind of glasses he needs, but, I mean, this whole game was like, we we missed three Toxics in this whole game. Uh, he missed the Joker Media, I missed the Mega Horn. Like, we were missing uh, pretty high accurate moves. Like, it wasn't like we were using Hypnosis or anything. We were using pretty accurate moves and they were missing. So this game was kind of weird. But yeah, I definitely did misplay and I'll learn from this like I learned not to be too greedy with the Volcarona and My prep was a little bit off for the extra jewel But yeah, I'll definitely learn from this and yeah, I'll come back even stronger and yeah I'll be recording the next battles now. So I'll be I'll be busy now. I gotta go so uh, Just like that. I am your boy Pichu And yeah, sorry if this disappoints you but anyway, that's how it goes and I'll see you guys next time. Peace like I woke up from a nightmare. It's like I woke up from a nightmare. Because I finally got away from you. And I ain't never going back there. If it's the last thing I'll ever do.